What's up, dude? I will vouch for this spaghetti and meatball recipe with all of my heart from now until the end of time. Try this once and I promise it will become a favorite of yours as well for many happy years to come. Now let's go! Now, first of all, you're gonna want some San Marzano tomatoes. Be careful when you're buying these because a lot of the times on the can, they will trick you into thinking they're San Marzano tomatoes. Just make sure when you read the ingredients, it says San Marzano tomatoes. Having said that, if you can't find San Marzano tomatoes, just use what you can, you know? I just want you to have fun and cook in the kitchen at the end of the day. Although these are good. And what I'm gonna do, as you can see, I have whole ones, is just get in here with my hands and break them up. We never want to blend these kind of tomato sauces. I've heard that crushing the seeds can give you a bitter sauce, so just be careful about blending. And you know, I don't know, a lot of people don't like doing this. Like Marcus, do you not, you wouldn't like doing this? I like doing this. For me, this is this is like a treat. I don't know, It's is it gross? No, it's not, it's fun. You're a weird man. No, I'm not a weird, well I am weird, but if, I don't know, it's nice, you know? I feel like I'm, I don't know, I just like it is that is that so bad i'm just gonna do this for about a minute or so they're gonna keep breaking down a little bit when we make the sauce starting with a medium heat pot i also like to use a big pot so the tomato doesn't splatter too much and i'm putting in a whole bunch of extra virgin olive oil the good stuff now going in with a little bit of onion this sauce isn't heavy on the onion but a little bit is key and we're gonna start by cooking this down for about 10 minutes or so or until it turns nice and translucent there we go it's been about 10 minutes the onions are nice and translucent nice and fragrant now i'm adding in a whole bunch of sliced garlic which I'll cook for another three or four minutes. Now at this point, I'm adding in a little bit of basil. We're gonna add more later, but for now, just about four leaves or so. My friends, I've made this tomato sauce so many times now, and it really is the best tomato sauce you're gonna make. It is all purpose, meaning you can use it for lasagna. You could make spaghetti and meatballs like we're doing today. You can make chicken parmesan. You can make anything you would use a tomato sauce for. This is the one, trust me. Simple, right? It's so simple. Now carefully add those tomatoes. Scrapey, scrapey. Wow, look at the color already. Good quality tomatoes. Now, let's give this a good stir. And I'm gonna keep that heat around medium low. And I'm gonna let this cook down for about 30, 40 minutes or so. And you'll notice I haven't put any salt in yet. I'm gonna do that near the end so I can make sure it doesn't get too salty. While your tomato sauce is bubbling away, let's start the meatballs. And dear Lord, I will stand by this recipe until the end of time. These are absolutely freaking incredible. Medium heat pan, extra virgin olive oil, going in with some really finely diced onions. Little sofrito here, right? Celery and carrot. I used a knife to chop those all up. It's a good alpha opportunity to practice your knife work. Although if you want to do it in a food processor, I am not going to judge you for it. Toss. Now same deal with these as we did with the onions. I'm gonna sweat these down 10, 12 minutes, something like that until everything's nice and soft and fragrant. It's been about 12 minutes and it's looking perfect. Nice and translucent. At this point, I'm gonna kill the heat. I'm adding some sage, some fresh thyme. Rosemary salt, if you know, you know. And for those of you who don't know, I'll put a recipe down in the description along with a video where you can learn how to make this. It's an incredible homemade herb salt that is really good on so many things. And it's gonna be perfect here. A little bit of pepper flakes. Sergeant Gilbert reporting for duty, my friend, my little wooden friend. It's been with me forever now. It's just black pepper. I'm gonna do about two teaspoons worth. But as always, the recipe will be down in the description. Now remember, the heat is off. I'm just letting those herbs kind of sweat into it. You can really smell the uh, fragrance and flavor of this. This is gonna make your meatballs like two times better. Just this. Now at this point, just getting it all out onto a little tray because we need to cool it down. Whenever you're cooling something down, you wanna spread it out so it can happen quickly and then even just draw a few lines through it so there's some good airflow like this. I'm just gonna throw it into the freezer for about 10 minutes. The next thing we need to do is rip up some kind of white bread. You can use a lot of different kinds of bread for this. I just found a buttermilk sourdough. I don't know, it just sounded good to me. Although just regular white bread will be fine. But I do think one of the tricks to a great meatball is using bread as opposed to breadcrumbs. Although if you just have breadcrumbs, again, I'm not stopping you from cooking, but watch what we do with this here. Now what we need to do is pour over some whole milk and we're gonna let this bread really soak that all up. I'm gonna get in with my hand a little bit, just make sure it's all mixed. And I'll just set that aside, let it sit for a few minutes. Let's add our chilled vegetables to a bowl. Bread going in, some fresh Italian parsley just chopped up, some freshly sliced basil. And what I'm gonna do with this is just give it a really good mix first to get the bread really dispersed evenly. Oh my God, I'm so, I'm so excited. Woo! Woo woo! Now, two eggs going in. Again, let's mix. Pecorino Romano and Parmigiano Reggiano, two incredible cheeses that are adding a lot of the salt we need to these meatballs. And that's it, my friends. Now you just need to roll these up. I like to do mine like somewhere around four ounce. 
And those are bread meatballs, which we are not gonna make. It was a joke. It was a dumb New Year's joke. It was just a stupid joke. But the reason we wanna add the meat last, and I'm going in right now with a pound and a half of ground beef, 80-20, and a pound and a half of ground pork. The reason we wanna put the meat in last is we don't wanna overwork it. For me, the ideal meatball is just holding together, just holding together. It's just ready to break apart in your mouth and dissolve. I do not want golf balls, okay? I really don't wanna overwork this mix. So I'm just gonna stand here, mixy mixy, until I get it just together. If you wanna use a mixing tool, do what you want. As you know, I'm weird. I like this. This is the fun part. Life is messy. Get involved. You can't stop the waves, but you can learn how to surf. Right now I'm surfing with my hands and some meat. Right now I'm surfing with my hands and some meat. And there we go. Just about 30 seconds of mixing. I don't wanna do it any more than this. This is gonna be perfect. Check out our sauce here after 40 minutes, my friends. Look at that, that's exciting. At this point in the last five minutes of cooking, I'm gonna add in my salt. Just really wanna let that cook with the salt for five minutes before I taste it so I can get an accurate gauge. Gosh? Gosh. So I can get an accurate gauge on how much salt is really going in here. It's been five minutes, let's taste it for salt. Mm, I think that's perfect. Oh my God, I love this sauce. It's so good. And to be really honest with you, it's gonna be as good as the tomatoes that you use in it. Now to finish, handful of basil going in. Heat's off, that's your sauce done. Try to use it up within five days. You could probably get a week out of it, but trust me, you're gonna find a lot of ways to use it. Mm. We'll set this aside for now and finish up our meatballs. Before we finalize these meatballs, let me tell you about today's sponsor, BetterHelp. Whether you're facing obstacles, navigating a rough patch in your life, or you have a serious mental health condition, therapy can be a huge benefit. And I speak from experience because I've been doing therapy for four years, I think now. I just had a session yesterday and the difference from when I started to when it ended is literally night and day. I just felt better. So a big part of BetterHelp's mission is to make therapy more affordable and more accessible because they know it's not always easy for you to find a therapist in your specific area. You can choose to have sessions through phone calls, video chats, or even just messaging. It's really whatever you feel comfortable with. By answering a few questions, BetterHelp can match you with a professional therapist who is trained to listen and provide you with unbiased guidance. If you're ready to start your own journey with a therapist, you can click the link down in the description. And not only does that help this channel, but it will give you a 10% discount off your first month with BetterHelp. And when it comes to therapy and therapists, finding the right person for you is really what matters the most. So if your first match doesn't feel feel right, no worries, because BetterHelp will let you switch to a new therapist at no extra charge. Asking for help is truly empowering, so I can highly recommend you give BetterHelp a shot. Again, that link will be down in the description. Thank you so much, BetterHelp, for sponsoring this channel. Now let's get back to the meatballs. Now as standard meatball procedures go, before you cook the whole batch, cook a little patty in a pan, whatever, just to taste it for seasoning. Mm. Mm, God damn, that's good. For me, that's absolutely perfect. Recipes in the description. You can make them just like this. Meatballs taste great. The next thing we need to do is just ball them up. And you can do them as big or as little as you like. It's really up to you. I've got a little scale here so I can measure these out. I'm thinking somewhere around five ounces, which I've just, dude, I just got it 5.04. That was so close. And if you've got a friend to do this with, that could be a good help too. That's you. That's one. me. That's your cue. I, yep. It wasn't obvious, I guess. We go hit for hit, man. My first ball, 5.02. Mm -hmm. See if you can beat that. <laughs> Can, See I if you can, beat that. can I get a reference? No, can you I hold, can see I can't it? Hold you it? cannot touch it. You can only look at it. Do not touch hey. it. Hey. Last time I got bodied in this. He was gonna do like six ounces, but then his was so close to five that he changed it. Is that big? That's big. Oh, that's big. Let's just have a wound. Let's rip a chunk out. You're, you don't. You disagree. I can, I'm not. I can't say anything. He disagrees. Last time I went too heavy. I'm not going too heavy again. I can't say anything. Damn it. Now I want to add more. I'm not doing any more. Put it down. Oh, that was pretty, pretty good. Five point one eight. Pretty oh. good. And there we are, there was about three or four more meatballs left over, but I'm just gonna do one tray for now. And I really recommend you just bake these to keep things simple. We're gonna put them in the oven at 400 degrees for about 15, 17 minutes. And here we are after about 25 minutes, I actually cooked these for an extra 10. Because I made them a little bigger than usual, they just needed a little extra time. But if they're smaller, 15 minutes will do just fine. As you can see, they just have a nice little bit of browning on them. They're not like super dark brown. If you have a good broiler, you can turn that on and probably get a little more color on these if you want, but this is absolutely fine. Now here we go guys into the sauce. Oh, my sweet little friends, have a little swim in that sea of red. Your flavors, your juices running through my head. Instead of waiting, I shall eat you now. You're partly pig and partly cow. That's death. That's death. The framing's right, have no fright. No, okay, I don't need more. 
Meatballs in, I'm here to win. At this point, my friends, just get in there with a spoon. Be careful not to damage these meatballs. We don't want to break these in any way. I'm just getting some of the sauce over the top, letting them rest down in there. You can even sometimes just shake it just to get them under a little bit. There we go, that's perfect. Now I'm gonna leave these on a very low heat simmer. Heat's just a touch over low. I'm gonna put a cracked lid on it so it can breathe a little bit, but also trap some of that heat and steam. And I'm gonna let these cook for mm, about 40, 45 minutes. Oh my God, I'm excited, I'll see you soon. Yeah? Is that good? No. No, don't, don't. <laughs> Oh, uh, 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 uh. Here we are 45 minutes later. And I've just maintained that little kind of bubbling simmer as you can see. I can see that the meatballs have oozed out a little fat into the sauce. I'm sure this is gonna be insane. Oh! Something Italian. That's really good. God, that's good. If you watch my channel, you will know I'm a big supporter of resting. I rest everything, you guys, especially things that have cooked in a liquid meat that's cooked in a liquid braised things, kind of like these meatballs. So I'm gonna let these sit in the liquid for 20 minutes. Longer would be better, but 20 minutes at least, uncovered, just to let them kind of relax a little bit and that can only do them a lot of good. All we need to do now is finish the pasta, my friends. So I've got about four quarts of water here. I'm putting in a little over a tablespoon of kosher salt and that should give us the right sort of seasoning in the water. A lot of times you hear people say, make it salty like the ocean. Don't make it salty like the ocean. The ocean is pretty damn salty, that's too salty. That tastes about right for me. Drop in your spaghetti, nice twist, not too bad. The trick to a lot of good pasta dishes is undercooking the pasta so you can finish it in the sauce. This box of pasta said 12 minutes, I'll cook it in here for about 10 and then we'll finish it in our tomato sauce. The time has elapsed, I'm just getting my pasta out. I don't even use a strainer, I'm just gonna let it drip here just for a second and get most of that water off. Pulled out a little bit of the tomato sauce from our meatballs right here. Do it as saucy or as not saucy as you like, but for God's sake, always cook the spaghetti with the sauce and toss it in together. Don't do that thing where you just put the red sauce and onto the dry spaghetti. That's like the most American ever, right? Do this. Oh yeah. Cook it in here for about two minutes and then start tasting it. Mm, mm. Oh, the salt level is just beautiful. I just wanna cook it a little bit longer. Been cooking in here for about three or four minutes. Go ahead and just try it, you know? It's the only way to know. For me, that's perfect. Let's plate this up, serve it with some more sauce, meatballs, and a little bit of pecorino cheese to finish. Pork flip? <laughs> oh yeah? Jesus, I'm a weapon. Bon appetito! It's a meatball, ever heard of it? Heard of them? <laughs> Quite popular. going on over there? Why is the spaghetti in his hand? Why is he holding it? We'll have to watch that back. Mm, it tasted so good in my mouth. I wanted to just be chewing. A lot of people don't know, spaghetti is a, a hand food. You did it too. Mm, mm, mm. Mm. Oh, it's now the grossest spaghetti tasting of all time. Guys, I don't eat spaghetti and meatballs often. It's something I want to be alone with. I don't know how else to put it. You know, when nobody like the kind of like, don't talk to me kind of thing, leave me alone. Let me put on the office or it's always sunny in Philadelphia. Give me the cheese as cheese, well, please. in case I want extra. 
mm. and just let me have a happy little time. Do you know what I'm saying? If you could have a guy great cheese on every bite for you, mm. if you can afford that, buy that guy. Mm. I always have eaten horrible, not cared about spaghetti and meatballs my entire mm. life, and I've hated it. This is so good. It really is really, really yummy. Make it and share it with me on Instagram or somewhere. I love seeing that from you guys. That I got shot is why I do what I do. I mm. did the sucky noodle thing and it shot right in my eye. Mm. Mm. Damn, that's good, bro. Thanks for watching today, my friend. I will put some links to all my favorite products and equipment down in the description underneath this video if you're looking to stock your kitchen. We've got our Master in the Making ebook now out with 55 of my favorite recipes. We also have merch available, and if you want to keep learning today, here are two more Italian recipes that I just absolutely love. Until next time, you know I love you and I'm out.